Hey guys, injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here. Um, I'm the only one in the office, so I've got the conference room here, and I just got off the phone with somebody who got injured in an accident. Um, it was a workers' comp and a car crash case, and so their question, what they were worried about, led me to say, hey, maybe I should explain it to you too. They're worried because they got hurt, they hurt their back in the accident, but they have a prior accident from like 10 years ago, and they still had problems with their back from that accident 10 years ago going in today. So the topic today is, what if you have an earlier injury? And I think the easiest way for me to do it is to just explain it on the board with this little chart, right? So this is your pain level. Let's say the pain level, here's zero, and here's 10, and there's five, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So the higher the pain, pain will be in red, right? And blue will be disability. Disability meaning, you know, you can't do things with your body. You can't work, you can't do your, your work activities, right? And then this bottom line is over time, right? So here's the situation our guy had. So uh, pain is red. So, you know, he had his first injury and, it, and his pain level before his first injury was zero, right? Then he had his first injury and his pain went up to like eight out of 10. And so he had some treatment and all that stuff. And then he had surgery on his back from the first accident. And then he was living with pain between one and three, right? Depending on the day, he was living at one to three. And then he gets to this accident, and now his pain goes like six, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. So he wants to, so that's, that's his injury, as is his pain level between the first and second injury. But then the blue is his disability, right? So blue, he, he had a physical job, he could do everything, so he's, you know, right there. And then with the accident, initially, his uh, disability goes all the way up to 10, and then little by little, he's able to go back to work, but he had to change jobs. So the first accident was a pretty serious injury. So his question is, his question, uh, well, I guess it should tell you what his disability is too, right? So, um, after this, then his disability's up here again because he's off work, he can't work at the trucking company at all, right? So his question to me is, it, with all of this stuff before the first accident, can he make a claim, make an injury claim, make a worker's comp claim, make a car accident case, with all this in his background, right? The answer is yes. Even if you have an earlier injury, the law in Illinois says that if you're in a second accident, right? We got our we got our second injury here. If you have a second injury, see his pain levels went from here up to here. And then his disability levels went from there up to there, right? So we can claim those pain levels and we can claim those disability levels in a new case even though he's got those problems before. I apologize for the art, but hopefully this helps you understand that even if you uh, have an earlier injury, you're in, still entitled to make a worker's comp claim or a third party claim if somebody else hurts you. And in fact, in a civil case like a car accident trial, something like that, the law in Illinois says that the jury or the judge isn't allowed to reduce your verdict or hold it against you in any way that you had a pre-existing condition or an earlier injury. Pre-existing condition is just lawyer speak for an earlier injury. So absolutely, even if you had an earlier injury or arthritis in a body part, if your new accident makes it worse, you absolutely can bring a claim. So I hope that was clear. I know my art skills are not very good, but hopefully uh, you know, that helps you understand what we're doing, okay? Thanks for watching and have a great night.